Nigel, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Good stuff. Nine games into the Premier League season, pretty much a quarter of the way through. How do you assess Southampton? Yeah, we would have liked to have got some more points on the board, it's fair to say. But when we analyse it, we go on Monday evening to play our 10th game. And that uh, facing West Brom, that would have been the eighth team in the top 10 of the Barclays Premier League that we would have faced. So it's fair to say that we've played against all the top teams uh, in the division, more or less. We've scored in all of the games bar one. So it knows we're, from an offensive point of view, we've got the capabilities of scoring, which is really pleasing. We cannot hide away from the fact that we've conceded too many goals. But what we've got is uh, more players returning from injury, uh, more players having been at the football club for a bit longer, a unity about ourselves which is important, and we can look forward with confidence and belief to embrace the challenge that we're now faced with um, and look forward to the next run of games that we've got. You've got the worst defensive record in the Premier League, uh, considering 26 goals. How, how do you address that? How do you face that? Well, with the personnel that we have at the football club at this moment in time, all you've got to do is make sure, one, can you keep them fit and on the pitch? Because obviously we've had to change things around a little bit. And you work very hard on the training ground. We analyse the games that we've done and we keep looking to improve the players. We've come a hell of a long way in a short space of time. Um, I think everyone's well aware of that. And it's quite often the way that a newly promoted side, um, obviously the, the, from a defensive point of view, sometimes a lot more questions are asked about you. Uh, when you move up, especially when you've jumped up two divisions like we've gone and done.